Hey crafty friends, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I am Robin and hopefully soon Mr. Bill will be here to give me a hand. Um, we are glad to have you. I have a fun project tonight. So let me get things squared away here and we will get busy crafting. Let's see. We are going to change this. How is everybody today? Did you enjoy your your day of with one less hour sleep? Hi Linda. Hopefully you survived. Hopefully it wasn't a huge deal. Okay, save that. Publish that. Automation. So hop on, say hello. Let me know you're here. And I don't have my monitor up, so I'm going to have to get this going so I can read comments. Hello, hello. Hi, Cheryl. I can, I can barely see it over there. Let me get it up over here. The volume. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Fun, fun craft tonight. I'm going to do a technique that... I have not shown you before. So, let's see. Whoop. so and there's Mr. Bill. Yay! Say hey, Mr. Bill. Hey. Hey. He he apparently missed his hour of sleep. Okay, hope everybody's doing good. I'm gonna do one little thing before I get started. I'm going to fill my water tray. And we're gonna make an Easter project. And I'm going to show you a technique that I have never shown you before. Maybe you have, um, but I, I know I have never recorded it, so it's it'll be fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use my, I've used this before. This is our A-frame, um, let me see what it's exactly called, Simple Shapes Rectangle. It is double-sided A-frame. So... You get this frame and then you get the, the little wood piece, you get some little faux leather straps to hold it and you can decorate both sides. This side we did with something for January, a uh, snow, a little feeling frosty, and then on the other side we did a February, something for Valentine's Day. Well, we are going to swap this out for something for spring and Easter. So, here, you know what I have? These are these are ones I did earlier. This is this is the piece I did for autumn. Hey, Christina. Hey, Rhonda. Woohoo! Gonna see you on Wednesday, huh? And this was our Christmas one, rocking around the Christmas tree. So very versatile, very reusable. So you buy the surface one time, and then. It comes with, let me show you what it comes with. I'll open up a new one here. So it comes with the frame. It comes with a natural wood five by seven simple shape. And it also comes with a white, um, white painted five by seven simple shape. They also sell replacement shapes so that you can do more than just well this this you could do four different designs one two three four but you could do even more with these so okay what am i missing anybody else here that i haven't said hello to okay so i wanted i wanted to use this brown wooden one for the technique i'm going to use it'll look good so I'm going to unscrew this and set this aside so I don't lose this. And same thing here. Oh, hey, Christy, how are you? Yes, you can get replacements in either the, the natural wood or the white wood. Now, one thing about the replacements is the replacements don't come with holes in them. because they, they made them that size just because some people might want a five by seven surface, but they might not want to use it with this 
So you either need like a crocodile or a drill or one of our power punches to punch the holes in it. Okay, not a problem though, but the original ones come with holes. Okay, good, glad you're doing here. You've been doing the Disney thing I've seen and I see your kids are doing good in school. Hope you're doing well in your classroom. Okay, let me catch my breath. Dogs are barking outside. Okay, I'm going to use an Easter design and I, I wasn't sure until just a few minutes ago which one I was actually gonna use. So let me show you what my choices were. There's this one, this is called Rabbit & Co. Sure to Grow. So it's, it's two different designs. This one says Rabbit & Co. Farms. And then this side says Peony, Premium Peony Seeds, perfect for spring. So we're actually gonna use this side, but some other options, if maybe you already have these, is this one that says Happy Easter Swirls. That would be pretty on there for Easter. Or we have this big transfer. This is called Spring in Your Step. So this comes with six different designs. So there's um, Hip Hop You Don't Stop. Get a Hip Hop Bunny. Uh, put a little spring in your step. Oopsie Daisy. Chick Magnet. OK Bloomer. Not Boomer. OK Bloomer. And I love my little sprouts. So these are some other options you could use for this design, but this is the one I'm gonna use. The great thing, oh good, you have a crop of dog. I'm sure you do, I'm sure, I'm sure you do, Christy. Okay, um, great news. Through the end of the month, while supply lasts, we are having a 50% off sale for all Easter and religious transfers. So this one is 50% off in, on the website. And this one is 50% off on the website. So any of our, of our Easter or religious transfers um, on sale. So if you wanna check that out, type the word sale in the comments and you will get a link to your messenger and just click on the one that says product info and you should get another couple choices and you'll pick the one that says shop the sale and you can see what's on sale. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to cut this. I'm not gonna cut this. I like to keep this size backer sheet whole and I just want to score that right there so that I can peel just half of it up off my backer sheet. Now, let me tell you what I'm gonna do with the surface. I don't, I could just put it on this, no problem, but I want to make this look a little distressed. So I'm going to do um, what I've heard called chippy paint. How many of you have heard chippy paint? Hey, Ron, oh, you do have, oh, you, I bet you got a bunch of stuff. Hey, Patty, let me know in the comments if you have, if you have heard of chippy paint or if you have done the chippy paint technique. It's a way to kind of make it it look aged kind of a way to fake it so I'm gonna start with this brown wood but I could also do this with oh, what did I do with it I could also do this with just natural wood but if I did that I would want to I would want to stain it first so that I have this darker color underneath so I've already got this darker color in fact let me just to show you how I would do a staining technique is I'm gonna go ahead and stain this. It doesn't really need it, but I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna take just some uh, acrylic paint and a wet wipe. And this is just gonna put a very thin layer of it on the surface here. Your granddaughter told it was creepy. The chippy, the chippy stuff is creepy. I don't know about that. Okay, so I'm not gonna use very much paint at all, just a little dab. And I have a wet wipe. This is going to kind of dilute this and thin it out. And it will actually kind of change that color, kind of like a stained effect. I didn't have to do that with this because it was already, it's already brown, but I wanted to show you how I would stain it if I was just using plain natural wood. Okay, 
So I've got that stained. I think I use, this is spice brown. You could use burnt umber. You could use any color. You could use a gray. You could use a black. You could use anything. Okay, now I'm gonna dry this really well. You've done chippy paint. You're a general crafter. I can't wait to pick your brain on Wednesday. Okay. So you tell me if I'm doing it right too. So I want this really, really dry. Won't take long because it's mostly water with just a little bit of paint. And I've seen a couple of techniques with this, but to be honest, I've only used one. There's a way you can use Vaseline. I'm not going to do the Vaseline. I'm going to use the candle wax. Apparently the chippy bunny is creepy. Well, I guess everyone can have their own opinion. And if you don't, if you get freaked out with chippy, chippy painted bunnies, you got to do you. Okay. Really dry. Okay. Now, let me show you what I'm going to do. I have just one of these little votive candles. I'm just going to pop that out. I'm not going to use it as a candle. I'm going to take the edge of it and just kind of apply some wax. Kind of a lot on the edges and a little bit here and there on the main surface. Okay, not completely coating it. What I'm doing is I'm getting some areas where the paint that I'm going to put on top of this won't stick. Is this how you do yours? Rhonda's used Vaseline. I have not tried that, but I have heard it works. Okay, so I've got, I've got wax here and there on my surface. You really can't see it. Now I'm going to take some... I'm going to use, I'm just going to use chalk paint. I could use my chalk paste if I wanted to and thin it down, but I'm just going to use my Waverly plaster colored chalk paint and a brush, a brush somewhere. And we're just going to put some of this on it. I'm not going to worry about super great coverage because I'm going to end up scraping some of it off. Okay, so a, a, a decent coverage. solid so you can and then this next part oh. after I dry it hope she gets done on time you have, oh <laughs> manicotia chippy paint with chapstick that's a good idea that's wax and it would smell good <laughs> I'll have to watch your I'll have to watch your live joy see how that turned out okay so I'm done with that. I've got this covered and it's not, it's not perfect because this is really not what my end surface is going to look like. See, it's not perfect. I'm going to dry this really well. Make sure that paint is dry. Hey, Alana. Well, you're just going to have to go up and take that manicotti out of the oven. So, are you missing your hour of sleep? I didn't really. I'm retired. Our church doesn't start till 10.30, so. I was up. Hey, Alana. Are you having fun with Mr. Facebook? Mr. Facebook Hackers? Okay. Make sure that's dry. Now, remember, there's... There's little bits of wax underneath here that will keep this paint 
from adhering to that brown surface underneath. So I'm gonna take a, Bill would call this an ink knife. What would other people call it? A, what is this called? I'm married that's to you not for an long. Ink knife. That's but, a that's a, a scraper or putty a knife. Putty or, knife. That's it. Putty knife. But he does when he does his silk inch. screening, he'd call it a putty knife. Anyway, a, I'm sorry, an ink knife. Anyway, just something you can actually use a spatula from your kitchen that kind of has a straight edge. Now I'm just going to scrape off some of this white paint and that brown underneath will start to show through. Now this is where it's kind of up to you how chippy you want it to look. So you, you don't really want to be doing it in completely straight lines and you're just scraping some of that paint off. Well, it could be a puppy knife. Puffy knife, putty, puffy knife. <laughs> Yes, putty knife. Okay, so work on this. I'm gonna especially do these edges. So can you see? Can you see what it's starting to do? It's letting me scrape off some of that light colored paint so that the, the darker color comes through. Hi, hey, Sheila. Well, we're glad you're here. We hope you enjoy yourself. Welcome. And hope you'll you'll think about following our page and seeing some of our other videos. Okay. So we're just doing a chippy paint technique to kind of give it some aging. You're absolutely right. That is a scraper. That's what scraper. Most use them for. Taping knife. Okay. A taping knife would be appropriate. Okay. Mm -hmm. See so, you now those I didn't I didn't know about those. Okay, so this you just kind of scrape off until it's good for you. Until it's as distressed as you want it to be. So I think I'm gonna stop right there. See it looks kind of like it's been out out in the elements wearing away the paint. So I'm going to get all of that paint chips off and I'm actually going to take a little sanding sponge and I'm going to give it just a little bit of sanding. You can actually do this with sandpaper too, but okay, so I want that smooth surface. Okay, now because I painted this and I'm going to put a sticky transfer down on top of this. These are self-adhesive, it's like a sticker, and I'm gonna put that down on here. I don't want this to stick so much that it pulls up that paint. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of my surface wax, just a tiny a little amount of my surface wax. I don't know if the surface wax would work the same as the candle wax. I think it's a little too soft. The candle wax is a little more firm. I don't know. I'll have to try it. Oh, you are a follower. Good. Well, I, again, I still hope you enjoy yourself. So I've got a little bit of wax on this surface. This is what it looked like before. Then I put a layer of, of stain over the top of it, and then I put a layer of chalk paint. And in between, I put some candle wax, so that, which allowed me to kind of scrape this off and give it that surface. Okay, so we are going to do Rabbit and Co. Any of these would be cute. It used to be a union taper. I don't know how fun that sounds. Probably on live where you didn't say anything. Well, that happens. We have people who, who, who just sit quietly. And that's all right. And that's okay. That's right. We love it when you comment, but we get it. Sometimes, sometimes I know I'm watching other people's lives and I'm busy doing the dishes or folding laundry and I don't have a free hand so I don't comment. Okay, so now I'm putting 
I'm just kind of putting this on a towel so I get a little bit of fuzz, a little bit of lint on that sticky. Again, just to kind of keep it from adhering so tightly to my paint that it stretches when I pull it up. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to center that and lay this down. Sounds like work. Yes, indeed it does. Okay. So I picked out a couple colors. You could do any colors you want. So I've got, I have got, well, there's some greenery. So I have pesto. That's probably my favorite green for little botanicals. And I've got some black for the letters. I'm going to do the letters in black. And I have rust color because I wanted to incorporate some little carrots in here on, on the decor. So the bunny's gonna be this rust color and this little banner that says 100% organic. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's start with, let's start with the foliage. Okay, so this is chalk paste. It is chalk in paste form. How hard is it to get a stencil on a rounded glass surface? If it's, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. If it is like a, a, a ball, that's a little tricky because it, but if it's like round, just like this, no problem at all. It'll lay right on there. As long as there's like a flat plane to it, no problem at all. If it's slightly bowed, not impossible, but can be tricky. The more rounded it is, the trickier it is. It depends a lot on the on the transfer. If it's just a little tiny thing, it might not be a problem at all. Okay, I did buy a stencil and some paint, maybe from you all, maybe. Don't remember. Okay, well, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Let me know if I can help you. Okay, so chalk paste. And this is going to be the leaves. So I have a little squeegee. And I'm just going to push that through the screen onto the surface. Now, one thing, you don't want the paste to dry while it's in the screen because then when you pull the screen up, you're gonna pull the paste up. So while it's still damp, you want to release this. So I'm gonna stop right here, and I'm going to just peel this part up, and I'm going to peel this part up, and I'm just gonna give that a little dry. And once it's dry, it will, it, it doesn't matter, it's stuck to the surface and not to the screen. So if you're working on a project that is taking you a little while to get it all chalked. You might want to do this paste and peel method where partway through you stop, peel it up, dry it. And then I'm going to lay this right back down. I'm not going to push. I'm not going to push where I have already chalked. I'm only going to push where I still need to chalk. Okay. And let's see, let's do, got my green done. Let's do, let's do the rust for the rabbit and this 100% organic. I need to stir this up. Separate it a little bit. Nice to know. Okay, sometimes when they sit for a while, I haven't used this color probably since autumn. Sometimes they kind of separate and you just need to give it a little stir. And it should be good to go. Okay, and I just dumped that. Okay. So, a little bit of paste on my squeegee. And I'm going to do that rabbit in rust. Rabbit. Wabbit? Silly rabbit. You said rabbit, the dog's headed out the door. <laughs> yep, it's it's time for the rabbits to start making their appearance. We're starting to see signs of spring here. How about you? 
We are, our bees survived the winter. Looks like Yay. they did really well. Yes, you never know. You kind of hide them away, wish them the best over winter. So here it is. They just don't come out. And then in the spring, you hope they survived, and it seems like they did. Okay, so I told you the good news about the Easter stencils are 50% off. That is also something that you can stack with our transfer palooza that's going on in the month of March. Yes, glad about the bees. In the month of March, any transfer is buy three, get one free. So that also goes for the 50% off transfers. So you can be getting like 70% off of some of those things if you, if you, if you stack the two deals. All the better to sting Bill. That's happened before. Okay, so I did a little paste and peel there. I'll lay this back down. And I'm gonna do my last, my last little words in black. black that's okay I think I've got another one up on the shelf okay so my black paste and I'm going to do Peter Rabbit and Co and company and I'm gonna do this little farms We also have buds on our lilacs, and we've got, what do we have? Do we have daffodils? We have daffodils that are poking, daffodils are starting to poke up, poke their little heads up. The flowers will, will pretty quick be on the... Um... I think last year we did a, a, everybody guess how long until the the daffodils bloom a little contest okay there we go look there rabbit and co farms 100 percent organic carrots eggs chocolate there you go. okay that's so cute the red bud trees are budding yay i still think we've got a little bit of cold snap still waiting for us but it's sweet okay so let's see i'm going to show you how to clean this so i'm just putting this down on a dish drying mat from the dollar tree you could just put it on a towel too and these are meant to be reusable so you can reuse them 10 to 12 times guaranteed by the company but i happen to know if you take really good care of them you clean them up right away and clean them up thoroughly you can get more use you get 20 uses or more out of them this is what i like to do i like to start with either a paper towel or a this is a swedish dish cloth and i've got this sprayed with just water and i've got this dunked in water and i'm just i just like to start by getting the bulk of that paste off with something that i can just toss away so you can see I still have I still have some in my screen. Some of this screen is going to stain because our our pastes have such a high pigment, such a deep pigment that it will stain the plastic, but that's okay as long as you get it out of the screen, it doesn't cause any problems. Now I'm going to switch over to 
my board eraser this is a lot like a magic eraser i'm going to get it wet squeeze it out I'm going to spray it again. Well, Rhonda says Mother's Day, so I Mother's, think she, that's her, her that's guess on the, on the daffodils. daffodils. I think we're going to get ah, them sooner. Okay, well, well yeah, we're pretty I warm think... here compared to other people. I mean, Some Iva's people. getting snow at her house, and she's <laughs> only a mile and a half away. But we're so, not getting it. Anyway, I'm taking this board eraser, and I'm just, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it, but I'm just dragging that out, and what I'm trying to do is get my screen clean. Now, you can see... Like in that rabbit, it's still orange. I still have I still have paste in that screen that I need to get out. So I'm gonna turn it over. Now actually the best way to clean your screens is to just do them in the sink. Oops. But I'm kind of far away from my sink, so I'm showing you how you can do it. I've been thinking about how I can get you a sink down here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm not, but I, maybe, I have to get some space to work first. Okay, so you can see how now I don't have that orange in the screen. My screen is clean, so I can let that sit. I'm going to let it air dry, and when I'm done air drying it, I'm going to put it back on its backer sheet, put it in its little plastic sleeve, and it'll be good to go for the next time I'm ready to use it. Okay, so let me get my frame, and let me dry this really, really well. Once the paste is dry, it's smudge and budge proof. I will be able to, let me get this one out and show you. Your sister-in-law is dropping in. My sister-in-law. She has Bible study in okay. 20 minutes. So. Okay. So this is completely dry. So this is smudge and budge proof. Now, if I scraped at it, I'd probably chip it off. But just, it's sturdy as all get out. You don't want to get it wet, though, again, because that will reactivate the paste. So I'm just making sure this is dry. Yes, I do. I do too. It's very practical. I use, I use it for every season. Like I showed you, I've got this one has something for February. This one has this side has something for January. I can take this off, and I have my goal is to after I've had it a whole year have like 12 different little designs that I can just trade out every month for the seasons and not have to store it all away. Okay, so here we go. This is on my chippy paint surface, so it looks like it's a weathered old board. Now I have my little leather straps that come with it, and it's got this little screw, screw, screw it in. Sheila, that big of one, Robin takes her big stencils actually to the bathtub. Yes, when I have big stencils, usually I don't try to wash those on a flat surface. I'll take them to the bathtub or the shower stall. You can, you can kind of stick it up on the side of your shower and rinse it off. Or if you, you can just do it on the bathtub, you can lay it down in the bathtub. And that's how I clean my really, really big ones. Whispers from Heaven. Whispers from Heaven. I'm not remembering that one. The dogs are playing with their new chew toys. <laughs> Sorry about the squeakies. Okay. Hopefully they won't drive Liberty crazy, Alana. <laughs> you like the hangers. The the frame? The the A-frame or the the leather hangers? Now if you do this right, you can just do it with your fingers. But I'm having a hard time lining that up. When in doubt, you can get not that one. You can get your screwdriver out. And get that in there the right way. 
Well, close enough for now. I'll finish it up later. It's still so. Here we go. There's my there's my sign. Now we can dress this up a little bit. I have some ribbon. It doesn't really need anything. If you want it, just keep keep it just simple and clean. You could do that. But I'm going to show you if you wanted to do just a little extra. I have I have some. Let's see. Where did I get this? This is Hobby Lobby. This was 99 cents, so this was their clearance. And it's just little carrots. And it is one and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to do a little, a little messy bow. Probably up in the corner. Okay. Why don't you move your frame to the side while you're doing the bow? So we can see what so you're can doing. See me Don't do the hide bow. it from us. Okay. Um, I'm not going to make this huge. So I'm just going to cut. I can just. Let's see. Do I want more than that? I think I'm just going to do. I'm going to make it really simple. So I just did two little strips, and I'm going to kind of crisscross them. And I'm going to get myself some jute, so I can tie this. And I'm just going to take this and kind of pinch it, pinch it together like that, and tie it off. Can you see what I'm doing? So I just kind of pinched it. I'm going to trim it up in just a moment as soon as I tie it. Just kind of fuss with it for a second. Uh, what kind of glue you can use to get the air dry clay to stick to, on a cigar box? <laughs> I don't know. Is the clay dried already? Are you trying to get it wet, the wet clay? I would think if the clay was dry, and you're sticking it on, you could do it with like E6000 or what is this, Fix All Adhesive from Dollar Tree or E6000. I would think that would work on a cigar box. If it's wet, that I, I don't know. If it's if the clay is not yet dried. Okay, so here's, here's my little bow. And I'm going to, I'm gonna dovetail the ends. I do them the right way. What's the name of the process you're using tonight? Um, we made, um, we did this little decor sign and we used a chippy paint in chippy. the background. Chippy. Chippy. C-H-I-P-P-Y. Chippy. So it's like chipped up old paint. It's a, it's a method to make it look a little bit distressed, aged. And I did that. Of course, you can always watch the replay. But what I did is I had, I stained my wood. And then I took a candle, just one of these little candles, and I rubbed that on the surface of the stained wood. And then I painted over it with chalk paint, let that dry. And then I scraped it off with a paint scraper, putty knife, tape knife, ink knife, whatever you call that that doodad and that scraped just bits and pieces of that off so that you could see down to the bare wood and now I am making a little bow let me see now I could put that I could put that up there now one really cool thing that you can do is because this frame is metal you can use a magnet as long as your bow isn't too heavy and I can just glue a magnet on here and it will stick there or you could just you could glue the whole thing onto the frame but if you want to reuse the frame you might not you might not want to glue it on there so I'm going to put just a magnet here let's 
So that will, that can either go on that little, that little, uh, whatever that thing is, the metal thing that holds it together, or I can just put it on the frame. And I've got a little bow. I can put it way up here. I can make it a little bit bigger. Really good color combination. It matches the, the ink really well. Though. And then I have, and I don't know if I will glue these on or not. This is kind of busy, but I got these from Dollar Tree. These are decor. <laughs> they are little carrots that, that are kind of like made out of wrapped yarn. It's I'm sure it's styrofoam with wrapped yarn. Or I've even, I've even got these. These aren't quite as realistic. I'd probably go over these with, um, not that these are super realistic. I'd probably go over these with a little more paint to make them not look so neon orange. But I was thinking I could just, wherever I have this displayed, I could kind of put a couple of these out. I could, I could glue it onto, I could glue it onto the bow. I could do lots of things. You you do whatever comes to you. I could kind of put I could kind of put a couple carrots up here. Joanne them. says nice for the garden, but Joanne, if you were to do this outside, I would cut cover it with a clear coat of some sort to keep the water yes. off of it. So you can attach these. You could just lay them around, make it look. You put it put it next to a little basket with some little carrots whatever you think just an idea so i hope you enjoyed this super super easy again i want to remind you of our easter transfer sale easter and religious transfers are 50 percent off while supplies last i know some of them are already sold out so if you're interested in that sale type in sale in the comments you'll get a link click on the link that says product info, and then you'll find us. You'll find either um, a list of supplies that I used tonight. So it'll it will have this uh, double sided A frame, and the transfers that I talked about, including the one I used. And I don't think I put any paste in there because I'm not sure about your what colors you like. But some of the tools I used, you can take a look there, or you can click on the one that says shop sale and it will show it will take you directly to the section where the 50 percent off sale is going on so anything that's that is on sale will be in there so you want want to look at that and then don't forget tortellini soup here tonight um don't forget we're also having transfer palooza which is any transfers whether they're easter or not any transfers are buy three get one free so they'll give you if it's the equal or lesser amount is the one you get free. So if you buy four transfers of all the same size, you'll get that fourth one absolutely free. If you buy three big ones and a small one, you're going to get that small one free. So, so use, that, use that strategically to get the best deal. So, uh, and those two stacks. So you can buy, you can buy three 50% off transfers and get a fourth 50% off transfer for free. So it's a great way to save some money on some really cute transfers. So go take a look. I like the carrots at the bottom scattered on the floor. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll think about it. You'll have to see how I post it tomorrow when I decide what to do with it. But anyway, let me, let me pose for just a second. And I'm going to let you go. Happy, happy, have a great week. Hope you had a decent day losing your hour. Hope happy you, spring forward. Happy spring forward this morning. And thanks for watching. I hope you'll follow us and watch us again. I'm planning on being on tomorrow and doing another fun craft with our club transfer. Or maybe I'll do my other one. I don't know. I'll do something. I know. Bill's standing there going, is The manicotti gonna, is, is out of the oven. Gonna, it's got to cool off anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.